You are the Solemorai. You sit down this Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this this company, Epoint, is owned and controlled by an associate of the Prime Minister. Prime Minister can either confirm or deny that. My supplementary question that I wanted to ask yesterday uh, was in relation to the Connect PNG program, uh, which the Governor for Southern Islands asked the a good minister for works. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as you know, in recent times I have issued a, a public statement on this particular program uh, stating that we do support the program and its intentions. But, Mr. Speaker, the only issue is about the spending spree, the procurement process, and the manner in which this particular program is being managed by his department. And I have made those statements publicly, and the minister has claimed that uh, I was a liar. So today I want to seek leave of Parliament to present some documents that I have received from a whistleblower, a very brave public servant, who is, who is giving me these documents that proves that there is uh, what I have said is correct. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to table this with your permission. Honourable Member for Yale Upanga, you, you may table your... Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have received a copy of the IFMS records from uh, finance, which say that uh, over the last 13 months, uh, this program has spent 1.933364152,000 billion dollars. Kina, sorry, Mr. Speaker. Almost 2 billion Kina has been spent so far. Uh, I have a list of checks here, check numbers, contract numbers, vouchers that has been paid to different companies under this program. Mr. Speaker, let me, let me say this. Uh, these are not personal monies, these are public money. Money that belongs to the people of Papua New Guinea. They need accountability and transparency. When, of course, government make decisions and carry out these programs, Mr. Speaker, 1.9 billion Kina has been spent on a program as I said, it's worth billions of kina, including contracts that are awarded up to 3.45 million kina. Contracts already awarded. And these are ongoing programs, and we will be very interested to know the minister's question, uh, statement must include the list of contracts that he has awarded. Uh, the minister has been seen publicly photographed and videoed, handing out checks to contractors directly. For the first time, a minister of state doing this in this country. Uh, this is not a simple matter. Hon Honorable Member, so, I will ask you to ask your to question. Finish my question. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, there are few contracts that are uh, glaring, Mr. Speaker. Uh, glaring because it has been given to associates of the Prime Minister and, of course, and your associates, Mr. Minister. You clearly define how much money has been paid as I have table some of the documents already, but to Epoen's constructions. How much money has been paid to Tari Pori Development Corporation? How much money has it been paid to Oceanic con 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 Constructions? Honorable Members, since you have already had the floor, I will now ask you to direct the question to the Prime Minister and not to the uh, Minister, as we corrected. I have no Thank problem. You. I have no problem directing the question to the Prime Minister, but uh, Mr. S Mr. Speaker, the question by the Governor yesterday, if you go and check the answer, it was directed to the Minister. That is why it is a supplementary question, but I am quite happy to ask the Prime Minister. Prime Minister has already taken note of what I have said, so I will just continue, if, if that is okay with the Chair. And, I will allow you to continue. And if the Minister chair wants to answer or the Prime Minister wants to answer, it does not matter. You are the Solemorai. You sit down this Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this, this company, Epoint, is owned and controlled by an associate of the Prime Minister. Prime Minister can either confirm or deny that. Uh, but we ask that they table all the contract documents and the amounts of money that has been paid to this particular company. That company includes Epoint and Taripori. Development Corporation, Oceanic, and Clean Green Energy, Mr. Speaker. Why I ask these questions are that because 
we believe that some of the procurement processes have been abused. Many of the, uh, when many of the contracts that are issued are under, deliberately under 10 million kina and paid on many occasions below that amount to avoid tender processing and the procurement requirements by the NPC law. So we need visibility on that, Mr. Speaker, and the Prime Minister needs to uh, disclose his relationship with the owners of the company and what is his role in those companies, Mr. Speaker. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, the Minister for Works uh, is a company that has, has got contracts from this particular program called Tumla Construction, owned by a staff, his former staff, Mr. Speaker. Again, it has received tens of millions of kina. I'm quite happy to name the name, but out of respect for the gentleman, I am not. But, Mr. Speaker, the company is called Tumla Construction. Now, those contracts, again, are issued below 10 million kina deliberately to avoid procurement process. Mr. Speaker, we've also received that there was 18 soldiers out of this program, 18 soldiers received 191,000 kina, 613 toya per person per soldier. What are these payments for? Uh, secondly, Mr. Speaker, there's been higher cars, many higher cars, but one in particular has been receiving 101,000 kina per month. Again, I asked the minister, what is this for? Mr. Speaker, uh, this is Connect PNG program. Why are we spending 785,209 kina to planting flowers at your head office? planting flowers at your office, Mr. Speaker. Sec the, the other question, Mr. Speaker, is that a medivac was paid to Pacific International Hospital for 220,700 kina for yourself, Minister. Is that for yourself to Gold Coast or to Australia? How does that connect to connect PNG program? Mr. Speaker. Further, Mr. Speaker, there's 170,000 kina paid to a school fee in the United Kingdom for an individual. Mm. How does that connect to PNG, connect PNG program, Mr. Speaker? And th lastly, Mr. Speaker, 152,800 kina was paid to Sunday Bulletin. What is that for? How does that connect to PNG, connect PNG program? Mr. Speaker, why we're asking that question is that the program itself is good except that money is been spent on things that we don't know about. Mr. Speaker, there is abuse of trust and confidence of the people of this country. Mr. Speaker, I simply ask the Minister to answer these questions. Prime Minister. Uh, Prime Minister, the Minister, to answer these questions truthfully and factually with the records that they have, Mr. Speaker not just shallow answers that will just water down this particular issue. This is a very big issue, 1.9 billion plus China has been already spent. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Acting Speaker, there was a time in 2020, Governor Haveta, I asked Governor Haveta, then Minister for Works, uh, and Secretary for Works, by the way, Secretary for Works, to continue on in this department, was an appointee under the O'Neill administration. Prime Minister, we have a point of order. Governor for ECP. Specific in relation to payments. Uh, we've already acknowledged that the Connect PNG is a good program. That's been, that's a given. He doesn't, order, order. He doesn't need to make a speech. He just simply needs to respond to the question. Yeah. Honorable Governor, your point of order is in order. Uh, uh, but I'm coming around to getting to a, a serious question that the member for Yalupangi has asked deserves a, a fair, correct and serious reply. It is our session that a program that is meant to unbundle rural PNG as well as uh, modernizing urban PNG is being abused by a department that is meant to deliver this. There's an assessment on the floor of this house that works department is not working very well. And works department is served by a longest serving secretary of this department that the former administration appointed, has run the system for so long, we came in like a good government, we maintained the department head to remain and run. <coughs> By the way, the department head is from his own electorate. Point of order, member for Yalibu Pangia. I think the Prime Minister is just uh, misleading 
uh, is by, by making statements that are not relevant to the questions that I asked. I've asked about questions that companies have got an association with him. He has to disclose whether he has got an association, he's declared those interests or not. There's nothing wrong with those companies working and applying and getting contracts. But there are processes that are established that needs to be respected and implemented. Those are questions we are asking. Not about roads and secretaries and all these things. You're just running around just trying to avoid the issue. This is public money. It's not your private money. You don't pay for your evacuations of your ministers out of this kind of pro program. Honorable, the Honorable uh, Member for Yalbu Pange, point of order, I know that. And I will ask the Prime Minister, I think you get to the point of what you can reply. Thank you. Anyway, anyway Mr. Speaker, if you all care to give uh, attention to the, uh, the Minister for Works, he will make a detailed statement on this later on. We're not here to cover impropriety or illegal transactions. Uh, the Finance Minister has asked for an uh, independent audit firm to look into Works Department. Uh, James Marabe, by the way, don't own Ipwens Construction, don't own Taripoli Development Corporation, don't own Oceanic, don't own CPEC, don't own whatever, whatever companies in there. There are 300 plus contractors <coughs> engaged in Connect PNG program all over this country. All right. All right, Mr. Speaker, I do apologize for holding up the Parliament's time and uh, the Finance Minister has called for an uh, independent audit firm to look into what's happening in the Works Department. Uh, we are not here to allow for impropriety or breaking of the due process for procurement. Uh, if anyone is found to have offended the law, uh, the process will take its course. I welcome the, uh, the uh, member for Yalupangia. We set up ICAC. <coughs> ICAC is run by uh, overseas commissioners. Present the reports to ICAC. Present the reports to police. Present the report to Ombudsman. All our latest declarations is before Ombudsman. Uh, present them. Uh, I beg your pardon, the works minister statement. He will present his statement. Uh, we will get an inquiry into this one. The country has been asking for the opposition. They are entitled to ask as the alternate government. We'll get a full look into what is happening. And I can assure this house, James Marape has no shareholding association with the companies that has been mentioned. James Marabe do not own a company when I've been member since 2007 up till today. Mr. Deputy Speaker, that is a record. These accusations, Works Minister is asked to offer a full reply. And so I will, I will assure this House, the companies that the member for Yellow Pangia have mentioned has no shareholding interest by James Marape. And I, 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 I pay special mention to Taripori Development Corporation. It's a council company, 51% owned by my councillors, 49% owned by 200 small shareholders of Tari District. They are doing work only in Tari District. There is any act of impropriety in the Works Department, uh, they will pay, pay, pay the due price. You have seen us terminating secretaries, suspending secretaries. Uh, we don't owe it to anyone. The inquiry or the investigation that will be happening at Works Department will ascertain all the allegations that is taking place. And I want to assure this House we're in the business of doing it correct for our people. Thank you.